A 1200 kilogram car traveling at 60 miles per hour quickly breaks to a halt. The kinetic energy of the car is converted to thermal energy of the disc brakes. The brake discs, one per wheel, are iron discs with a mass of 4 kilograms. Estimate the temperature rise in each disc as the car stops. So first off, let's find the kinetic energy of the car. We know kinetic energy from past chapters is 1 half mv squared. So we have 1,200 kilograms as our mass. So that's good. And then for the velocity, we have 60 miles per hour, which is not SI units, and we want meters per second. So we know in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So now hours cancel, and we're, now we have miles per second. And now we need to go to meters. So we know in one mile, there is 1.609 kilometers. And I got all these from the constants page. And then we just need to go to meters. So now the miles are canceled. And in one kilometer, there is 1,000 meters. So we take 60 divided by 3,600. Multiply that by 1.609 and then times that by 1,000, and we get 26.8167 meters per second. All right, so now let's plug that into kinetic energy. So Ke is equal to one half the mass of 1,200 kilo, uh, kilograms times v squared of 26.8167 meters per second squared. So the kinetic energy of the car is 431,481.24, and kinetic energy is always in joules. So now that we know that in the car there's, they tell us there's four disc brakes, one for each wheel, so let's figure out how much kinetic energy each wheel is taking care of. And in actuality, the front brakes might take a little bit more of the, the weight if you're into cars, but let's just pretend that all of them equally get dispersed to all four brakes. So if we take the amount of kinetic energy of the car and divide it by four, we get, let me write it down here, we get kinetic energy per each break is equal to 1,870 joules per break. All right, so now that we know how much kinetic energy is um, taken care of for each break, they say that the kinetic energy is converted to thermal energy. So in this case, kinetic energy is equal to the thermal energy, which is equal to mc delta t. We, they tell us that the mass of the break is 4 kilograms. If we look up on the constants page, we find that the, the specific heat, or C, for iron is 449, and that is joules per kilogram Kelvin. And then the delta T is what we're looking for. So now we just solved for Q because we know that it is going to be equal to the kinetic energy. So if we plug kinetic energy in for Q, we can solve for T. So Q equals mc delta T, divide both sides by mc to isolate T. So now the change in temperature for each break is equal to the thermal energy divided by the mass times the specific heat. So, Let's get a little room. So the change in temperature is going to equal 1,870 joules for one break divided by 
the mass of one brake, which is 4 kilograms, times the specific heat, which is 449 joules per kilogram Kelvin. So now if you notice the joules will cancel and the kilograms cancel, leaving the correct units that we want. And this gives us a delta T of 60.061 Kelvin or 60 Kelvin.